Doc, in 2012, when the um, NDC wanted a second term in office, I remember the manifesto slogan or theme. I might be mistaken. I think 2016. Better Ghana. No, better Ghana. Me, me campaign. I feel a better Ghana. Was it 2012 or no? The better Ghana agenda. Was it for 2012 campaign or 2016? Maybe it's one of them. Mm. Doc, let me give you some few statistics. This from you can check uh, respectfully from the macro trends, uh, uh, macrotrends.net. Mm. GDP growth, how the economy was faring in 2011, 2011, was 14%. Doc, it's one of the highest in our history. In fact, at the time we recorded that in Ghana, it was, I think, the highest in the world. And by the way, it was on the back of commercial production of oil, which had been discovered through the very efficient management of the Kufo administration. 2012, it dropped from 14% GDP growth to 9.29. And then trended downwards again to 7.3. Steeply to 2.86 in 2014 under President John Dramani Mahama. In 2015, growth came to 2.12. We were virtually stagnant. And then you had 3.37 in 2016. When we were being told that we should prepare for a better Ghana, Growth performance of the economy had taken a downward trend. But President John Romani Mahama, former president, said, Position yourself for a better Ghana. <laughs> he wasn't telling us then that all was cool. He was only telling us, some way, somehow, he could take us to some better place. That's what I'm talking about this morning. <laughs> Look, 2017, GDP growth. Under Ekufado was 8.3. Then it came to 6.2, 6.5, and then dropped all the way to 0 0.5 in 2020. What caused this tragic, steep, rapid, unorthodox decline? Look, right in the Jane Square. I mean, Bilani from 6.5 to 0 0.51, how come a country that was experiencing a growth average of 6.0 steeply went all the way to 0 0.51? What happened under the same leader? When you mention COVID, they say, don't mention COVID. But God has nice ways of teaching us lessons. In this Jachikwesi case, the NDC tells us that you know, this fine gentleman who left his cool chamber in Canada and came to Ghana had an intent putting a request for renunciation, but unfortunately, because of COVID, <laughs> the renunciation delayed. If in discussing national matters, we had linked COVID to letters wait that we were waiting on from abroad, Samuel cuts off my head and say that as for you, everything is covered. But today, today, the whole NDC communications machinery, they are uh, 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 <laughs> when all the lawyers gather, the substantial paragraph for defending intent and running away from the law in ink is that COVID delayed its renunciation sentence. It is the same COVID that made a nation that was doing 6% average growth in a very unorthodox, unconventional, uncharacteristic manner drop to 0 0.5. And any time you drop steeply in your economic growth, Doc, it reflects in hardship. It translates into loss of jobs. That's why, and now I will not even give fake or amorphous examples. Let me be specific. A place like Alisa. For some time, it was like a ghost town. All the staff there, when you go and check, life was not easy. Why wasn't life easy? Those who sleep there had gone, stayed in their country because a virus had invaded the world. 
and we have something we call recovery. It doesn't take a day for a hotel who had asked 80% of his staff to go home to return in a day. It takes a time. And so if someone tells me, Doc, things are tough, okay, boy, I don't start shouting and saying, stop. No, no, no. I tell you, things are tough or were tough, but we are on our way to a better life. Doc, I have here the inflation figures for this country. Again, let's, you see, when, when I mention Baumian, people sometimes say, Doc, why do you mention Baumian? This is his attitude. Let's come back to the figures. In 2011, inflation in this country was 8.73. 2012, 11.17. Macotrends.net. 2013, 11.6. Manche. 2014, Better Ghana Road, 15.49. 2015. Why do you use 2014? Minifi. No, why use 2014? So better Ghana 2014. Better Ghana what can you be neighbor? Nakatan na bomb better Ghana. Well, 2014 is not an election year. Oh no, sh me track it. There was a promise of a transition to a better Ghana. But even those kind of things were turbulent. That's what I'm saying. Hello now. 2015, 17.1. Mm -hmm. In 2016, 17.4. This was around the better can Ghana care. So 2016 inflation was what? 2016, 17.4. No, it can't be correct. 2016 December, we ended with 15.4. It went all the way up to 18.1. Okay. We came to 15.4. No, well, 15. Yeah. Well, 15. It's a double digit inflation, which is like close to twice what they had in 2011. You know? And uh, again, Samis. Uh, boss and I know it's his Asmara JM. Then look, 2017, it came to 12.37. It trended downwards. 2018, 7.81. 2019, 7.4. 2020, 9.8. 2021, of course, the post-pandemic effects had not shown gravely. So it, were, it was around 9.9. Look, .9. check the figures from 2017 to 2021. Then you see that the thing was leaving the double digit arena to double to single digit. These are figures which have been chronicled internationally by uh, all the agencies from credit uh, ratings to World Bank to IMF. These are undeniable, uh, un indisputable, and uh, look, these are the figures. Mm. All right. 2022 inflation from 9.9 .9 to 31.89. 9.9 which year? 2021. Mm -hmm. To 31.89. And what accounted for that? I'm coming there. 2023, 45.44. Mm -hmm. How come a regime that was keeping inflation around a single digit jumps to nine times? 9.1, 9.18. 27, 30, about four, five hundred percent. Obviously, if you are not into strict politics, but you are a follower of trends and a critical person, you look for what happened between those two years. The answer is the same Jachi question example. Because of COVID, the world slowed down. Of course, when you, the viewer, with all due respect, when we ask you to stay indoors so that you preserve your life. Those who normally produce clinker, the raw materials for cement, also were preserving their life in Norway. The Chinese and other countries who produce iron rods in millions of tons, they went to sleep. So when the virus started trending downwards and we all started to come back, if you start looking for iron rods, if you're a viewer, with all due respect, the quantities that you need, they were not available. And any time you are looking for something, and the thing is scarce, this is basic economics. Sami knows. Because the thing is not around, and everybody wants to start building, the prices go up. I remember listening to one of the managers at Gassen. Within a spate of one week, cement prices went up about 300-400%. Manche. And then the man spoke on radio. They asked him, what is happening at Gassian? This was his answer. The cost of freight 
He said, the things we use for cement are not made in Ghana. They come from Norway. The containers we put in, because of COVID, the number of ships operating went down. They are now coming. When you go to them for free, the prices are tripled and quadrupled. So, please, because we are ships... So, this so what explains the price of cement today? Good. And Doc, I'll explain. It's very simple. So, because that's what we say is a path. After COVID, it is now that the production started. So, at the time you asked for it, the amount was, the quantities were small, so prices were up. Because the people are now producing more, the more the availability of the material, the price starts to stabilize. And the same reason... But the price is shooting up. No, I'm coming, but mm. the prices which we saw, for which people started asking what was happening, when it rose up uh, steeply, it trended downwards a little. Of mm. course, I'll come back to why it's gone up. Mm. But, but I think it's a similar thing with fuel prices. The same thing accounts. Mm. Countries that produce oil, they also went to sleep because of COVID. Mm. When the demand went up, factories started asking because flights are now working and countries are working. Mm. The, the prices of fuel or oil went up. Doc, mm. at Cheno, it's been, it's been, we've reduced, we see a reduction in the, at the pump, mm. pump price. Because now the volumes are nearing the quantities they used to produce before mm. COVID came. Doc, Sami knows all this. Sami wants power, so he, and he can mm. Okay. In fact, someone told me, Doc, how come yam, the price of yam has gone up? And you people are mentioning COVID. How come you are mentioning COVID for, uh, how do you call it? Um, plantain. Plantain. Mm -hmm. How come you are mentioning COVID for maize? Prakushito. Doc, if someone wants power, and with all due respect, they are speaking to a crowd, mm -hmm. they will speak their normal man's language and get their perception and get the reward. But Doc, then I realized... Which answer did you give to the one who asked you about the yam and Pakushito? Doc, then I realized, and that's what I'm about to tell you. Mm. I spoke to a maize, commercial maize farmer in Ghana here, in the mm. voter region. He said, Doc, the price of fertilizers, the chemicals I use in this farm, mm. has gone up over 300%. They are petroleum products. Those who know about fertilizers, the ingredients they use are petroleum products. And guess what? 60% of all the fertilizers in the world comes from Russia. So he said, Doc, because of the issues Russia is having, and because now their fertilizers <laughs> cannot enter the market. Doc, this is a practitioner. Manche. You see, it sounds funny, but this is someone who is into maize production. Doc, just as you being told that COVID is what made Jati Kwesin not get his renunciation letter. It will sound funny in the beginning. Ah, how can a virus result in someone not get their letter? But when they start to tell you that the staff over there were working away from home, they were not touching documents and all that, that is why Sami is able to tell you that COVID is one of the reasons why Jati Kwesin didn't get his letter. It's the same thing. And again, the yam. Then I realized that the one producing yam is not in Accra. Mm -hmm. Because the yam is put on vehicles to come. Mm -hmm. The cost of transportation has an effect on food price. No, Sami wouldn't tell you this. Ekembo. Jamin Mikel. Ingbo me, I'll tell you. Look, me, I'll tell you. So, uh, look, the point I want to make is that, look, things are challenging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe an economic growth there is. Look, so I think, um, you yes. know, we. we like, look, we, sometimes we try to make things light, not yeah. because we take the viewers yeah. for granted. Yeah. But, dog, mm. even in the worst times, you need people who let you know that we can still come out of whatever. Mm. Look, uh, look, I have a lot of respect for JM. Mm. I know Sami adores him. Mm. But let's, if we are being frank, if you are under JM, there were serious challenges in this economy. Mm. Very serious ones, dog. Mm. I remember one of the mining companies, they said that, look, the cost of power is making them go under because Charlie electricity supply was not stable. Mm. It was under JM. Mm. But it doesn't mean JM was evil and he should never be show up in our national circles when it comes to leadership. Why not? He can talk about his strengths. So I'm not surprised when you talk to JM, he'll tell you, oh, you GMC, Terminal 3. Yeah, he did his part. But the bottom line is that leaders have challenges. Leaders have a lot of opportunities and records, we have to do a balance. I tell people, the same Nana Akufuado, who came and in his first year of administration, withdrew close to, uh, what, 
17 or whatever tax. Today, that means today, dog, in like a pay you away. Now he knows all the brands for uh, 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 uh. rice. No, my rice. Uh, 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 sanitary parts. Sanitary parts, dog. Mm. No way. Uh, it's a brands, five. No, you are in like a way you are in a But for a national communicator to identify all the prices, oh, my mm. brother, for a national communicator to identify all the brands of sanitary parts mm. and mention their prices and the difference is to tell you the level of detail. <laughs> and, doc, this same administration <laughs> under jail, mm. they had a tax on condo. Uh. And condoms and parts, their parts are not too wide apart. They are, they are. Oh, they are. Oh, my dear. You are a medical doctor. Okay, all right. Uh -huh. That one I agree. <laughs> so, the point I want to make is that, dog, mm. if you go and check, I'll not be surprised. Mm. I'm not sure if it was under him that taxes were put under, sorry, on sanitary parts. Maybe someone can talk about a review. Mm. You know, as they review the levels of taxes on all commodities, mm. it will affect, I'm sure, yeah, the actually, worst part, the yeah. craziest part, yeah. is that the finance minister went to parliament yeah. to put taxes on what they describe as luxury items. Okay. So I even asked some of the MPs about how come they missed that out. And yeah. they said that I think they, 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 they protested. In fact, it was on record after two forcing and uh, um, um, at two forcing Adung, Adungu and another MP. They raised those issues. Yeah. And we added sanitary parts to luxury items and slapped that um, uh, tax that we say we're slapping on, on, on sanitary parts. Yeah. Oh, Doc, I mean, I remember there was some time ago, again, in the previous administration, I think taxes were put on machets or something. And people came up strongly advocated that, look, these inputs are used usually by the... Dr. Kubo, you, I want to again, I, 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 let me repeat. You're a medical doctor. I'm coming there. Oh, what oh, on earth? Oh, about will make in your cell anybody oh. doc in your cell. So you add mean, sanitary parts to luxury doc. items and slap taxes doc, on doc. it. I mentioned advocacy. Yes. The point I want to make is that when you meet such an arrangement, which you are saying, which obviously is absurd, doc. Mm. <laughs> I will not mean words. Mm. If anybody adds sanitary parts to a list of luxury items, I will assume it's a typo or an error. Doc, I'm choosing my words. Mm. But if a fellow has the confidence to tell me he or she still maintains that one, Doc, I will say straight away that it's an absurd argument. It should mm. go off. Mm. But advocacy is what makes policymakers, Doc, assuming they had either an oversight or whatever to, to do the right thing. So mm. I'm with you. Okay. But the point I just want to make is that when we see something which is in obvious error, one there one must one. be advocacy. Oh, are, you, are you a timer? You are the timer. Dog. You, your Dog. Timer. <laughs> you are the timer. And I'm helping Country you. Uh -huh. Someone called into his program uh -huh. and said, Ah, Kasana, Obi Kasa, one man, and Chemi Bio, you are so rough. You have to be professional. Are you a timer? <laughs> Such a police action. You don't free a woman to cut him off. So, Sammy, you are not a timer. Oh. Let the production team win. No. So, the point I'm making is that yes. as for advocacy is good no, in all the politics and And look, no, I have two quick things, then I wrap up. Please. Ah, the, first, oh, please. Alive. the first one is that Samin uses absolute categorical terms and words like people have stole their thieves. Mm. He says, you know, sure this morning I've said thieves. Oh, I wrote. Oh, this sorry, morning. no, no, stealing. You mentioned that yes, the yes. people have stolen. Yes, stealing, no, yeah. To say someone has stolen, you've, it means you've done, uh, you've built your docket. You've done your investigation, investigation, you've gone through cross-examination, you've done delivery of the judgment, and the fellow is guilty. But please, you know, sometimes we say this in so that in the perception of the public, it will be like, oh, these guys are thieves. It's the same thing that NDC did in 2008 and created the impression that the, the accounts of all government appointees put together was bigger than our votes. Look, when they came to power, whenever you mention that thing, they ran away. Even on TV, some of their people said, oh, those were political talks. I'll beg you. And we are of the same species. Doc, in Ghanaians increasingly get the impression that we are, we are stealing and we are thieves and, and we are saying that to get power. It will come to a time, me, my prayer is not that JM will become president 2025. My prayer is that it will be Dr. Baumarada. But as if God in his own calculations makes JM come, if somebody is not careful, when people see him, they would 
Look at him, dog. They, they will treat him as mm. he wants them to treat me. They will think he's a he's a thief, even mm. with all his hard work as a lawyer. So I'll beg him. Uh, we should not trial, uh, put politicians on trial in the public. It's dangerous for all of us. Mm. And then lastly, two million dollars, dog. I'm a Ghanaian. Manche, come on, you two million dollars. I will not sit here and defend the person, especially me. Jail pony work with a woman, monkey should alone no way. Like Zell or Napo. No, I'm sure my, my guys that are saddled will be happy you mentioned monkey. Shoulder. No, I'm telling you, <laughs> this two million dollars, not even one monkey shoulder, has come in our way. Why would I come here defend? But I beg Sammy, if two million dollars has been expensed or paid out, there's an auditor general. Exactly. Yeah. Let's identify the processes of payment. See those who approve the payments, mark them out, and ask again advocates that the right thing be done. Mm. If the AG, because he's one of us, will not prosecute, there are other platforms like Office of the Special Prosecutor, mm. even to charge or whatever. No. Mm. But the good news is even that crime doesn't expire. Mm. But this thing of trying to mention a subject, oh, uh, they say some people pay money when they were doing some presidential ball, so it was cash for seats. No, car, you're not going now. Nobody's interested in how it ends. We move forward. Another site of corruption. Two million dollars Skype trade. Agbena. This kind of trend endangers all of us. So, Doc, um, my <laughs> message to Ghanaians is that mm. the same government that was able to stabilize electricity, that was able to uh, restore the allowances that JM couldn't handle, the same government that is making sure that despite challenges at school feeding, as I speak, when you go to Lejukuku, you go to uh, Adabraka, the public schools that are on school feeding, the kids are eating. It's true. Those cooking have had challenges with payments. But we'll continue to work at these things. Mm -hmm. Together, though, I wouldn't say a better Ghana, mm -hmm. but together we can have a prosperous Ghana. Mm -hmm.